Sonorain, when we see that uh, the leaders are uh, so inept and they're either purposefully doing evil or they're very, very incapable of holding the, their leadership position properly? Is it a purposeful mockery of the truth by evil? Or is it just an organic kind of sign of the times? It can be both. It can be both. You guys don't understand his question. He's speaking like that also. When we have leaders that are so corrupt, is it a sign of end of times? Or is it uh, showing that evil is just making fun of the truth by doing that? It's both. They're always testing their waters, evil. See how far they can go. And now, after more than 100 years, eh, since, sort of, the fall of the Hilafat, they get more and more bold before they're just testing the waters. When the Hilafat first fell, there was no anti Tasawuf movement. From Wahhabi to Mahabi, they were all making zikr, everyone is celebrating Malud, as they had done for over a thousand years. Then they slowly, 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 after they raise one generation of Wahhabi scholars, then they say, oh, everything is haram. Then slowly, they test the waters more, more, more. Then once they get to be very confident, then that's when they, they're going to go more than that. You understand? So, now it has reached that point. It is a sign of the Ahir Zaman. Right? But worse is going to come. And every time they do that, they are celebrating. Oh, we thought, shaitan and evil, thing. oh, we thought we we're going to get punished. We're not. That means it's okay. We still have a long time. So they're going to push it more. Hmm? So it is very terrible. Which is why when the wrong things, evil things, bad things were happening to the Bani Israel. And they had a prophet. They had a prophet. The Quran is saying they run to the prophet saying, ask Allah to send us a what? You're always thinking about food. That's why you're what? Manasalwa. Huh? You uh, idiot always thinking about food I'm saying the Bani Israel evil things were happening to them bad things were happening didn't I say that? I made sure you know the context so that you won't say anything stupid right? evil things, bad things were happening to them correct? and they had a prophet we're all talking all this time for one hour already we're talking about kings and leaders right? leadership and evil leaders and uh, so we're not talking about something else still within the subject and I said when the Bani Israel and the Quran Karim, they are being wrong things were happening to them and they have a prophet and they ran to the prophet they say ask Allah for what and he's saying manna and salwa food They ask what? Below? They ask, they say, ask Allah to send us a king. A king. Because so many times, majority of holy people, unless they're Naqshbandi, majority of holy people, they don't understand 
shaitan and evil so much. Yes? I'm saying except for the Naqshbandi because Naqshbandi is concentrating on the nafs, which is worse than shaitan. Concentrating on nafs, shaitan, hawa, and dunya. We're concentrating on the enemies. We're not concentrating on the friends. Forty tariqats concentrate on the friends. Concentrate on the friends. Yeah, they talk about enemies here. They're about concentrate on the friends. The Naqshbandi way, especially about the Osman and Naqshbandis, we're concentrating first on the enemy. How you study the enemy without becoming the enemy, without getting pulled. So, when you understand that, you understand the enemy, you understand how to defeat the enemy. But that way of thinking, understanding the enemy and how to defeat the enemy, that's usually the, the kings are busy with. Kings, not scholars. Scholars cannot have that capacity. You understand? So many other ones also, holy ones, I don't want to say too, too much, but they don't have too much of that capacity also, although their stations are very high, except for some, that they're trained like that, and then they're able to think ahead, and they will say. So, asking for a king, that is asking for someone who knows the enemy and how to protect you from that enemy. May Allah send us Alifa soon, inshallah. Fatiha. Amen. Assalamu alaikum.